Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and today's of which is on the uh, TIE Defender. Yeah, TIE Defender from 2010. So on the front of the booklet, see picture of the set in action, and set number 8087, and the logos, and the Clone Trooper border from you know, the winter wave of that time, but then, and of course, later in that year, went over to the blue Cat and Rex border, obviously. On the back, is win on the online survey, Evil Wing Kid, which did show up on all, almost all the manuals, well, until summer 2013, of course. And on, let's see, add for the free Lego Club thing. Uh, for some of the 2009 Clone Wars sets and 10th anniversary set. Big, a uh, few ads of some uh, Clone Wars and Episode 3 sets. Uh, for some other sets and the comic strip of the Echo Base set. And also two minifigures and the features of it. And the pieces that come with the set and the last decks. First of all, for the mini figure, is, is a TIE pilot, who of which has come in a lot of different set, a lot of TIE fighter sets over the years, and so at least it's quite a little bit of change to it, at least until with, well, at least it's kind of good for the time, at least no back torso print, of course, and the helmet piece of which, uh, done all right as compared to other versions. And underneath it, plain black head. Since, of course, who needs that? And next to which is an original trilogy Stormtrooper, which has some bit of similarities to the 2014 Rebels versions. And of course, hard to complain getting multiples of it for army building, obviously. Which, of course, is good. And of course, Whereas back torso print also quite good, and underneath it, plain black head, which I think they, which of course they should do on all the stormtroopers and all, instead of getting them the annoying angry clone face, of course. Defender itself. Oh, it's a quite cool and quite unique ship that we've never seen any remakes for. <coughs> so, as for the center cockpit area, which is mostly just regular bricks and a couple slopes there, and also the like a uh, centerpiece which we did see on a uh, Vader's type Darth Vader's type fighter from 2009 obviously and this was the following year so slight reuse of that and same with this a uh, top canopy ditch or dish piece so kind of like they just reused some pieces from that and modified slightly as of course but if you can open it up on the ratchet hinge, and of course there's enough space to fit your pilot minifig into, obviously. I'm not sure what the red side snock brick is for, or what, what it's for. But as look for on all these wing pieces, be kind of similar to most other TIE Fighter wings, but with some light gray lining to it, which is the proper kind, rather than with uh, blue that stuck for a lot of years. But at least, which they did do, also did with the TIE Fire set in 2012, well, well that and beyond, so this is probably what stuck with that. 
Same with the 2009, with the one from 2009, obviously. And also on each one of them have flip, have the flip fire missiles, of course, which not as much effective as the spring loaded launchers. And if look, or how it usually does, as you can see, has a, a three prong. Uh, a technic beam that holds all the things to it. And of course, whereas the uh, wing piece had to build three times over, rather kind of as compared to two times with most TIE fire sets, of course. And as from the back is have this couple little wheel piece and it has a blue dish piece acting as an engine, of course. So for the actual main feature being, as I if you look upwards, if I hold it there, and this end swivels around, which is quite effective and just really cool and fun. Oops. But sometimes they kind of can fall off if you had it attached on the right way, of course. Although, you can spin the middle part also kind of freely if you wanted to. So, yeah. <clears throat> so on to my the final verdict on this set is come on. The overall uh, hang on. so overall this I think a pretty cool set of 2010 like at least it's a slight different kind even though it's expanded universe of course which I think we did see in some like games and all as usual of Expand Universe but at least adds in some diversity to TIE Fire range like of course it has three uh, wing pieces rather than like two <coughs> and, but although the two mini things of which are kind of generic but at least they're kind of good for Imperial Army building, of course, and yeah. And also this does provide as a good parts pack of corner bracket pieces, of course. And if you still have this set from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to it, then I'd say truly go ahead and get it. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and thanks for watching.